I was actually about half a mile from it when we got the call. I uh, was first in. We had heavy fire showing out of the garage and two windows, uh, and it had already vented into the attic. Uh, the next thing you come in, we pulled a calf line, made some knock downs on it. We did make one rescue of a kitty cat out of the front door. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, any of the landowners who owns it. I did talk to the owner, I don't know who it is. Uh, they advised there was no one left in the house, but there were pets in there. We don't, we could. We've got a good knockdown on it now. It's just a matter of mopping up. I've got other departments coming in to help with the mop up. So, uh, now there are some, there are some uh, areas like back over in this one corner that just keeps popping up on you. Is that a gas line or? We don't really know. It looks like it's uh, some type of hydrocarbon or a, a rubber product or something. They're knocking it down, then it comes up. So we're just keeping a line on it. And after it cools down, we'll get in there and really overhaul and find out what the problem was there. This fire really got it going because you have a trouble with manpower right now? No, uh, no. Actually, we were on scene probably within four minutes of the call, but uh, we have three men at the station, and Lindell came in on a box call, and so did Noonday, which will give us about 10 personnel on the scene, and we made the initial attack with that, and we called other departments in to back us up on the overhaul. So we had manpower on the scene in a hurry, but we're still lacking manpower during the day, so I'm having to call other departments in the county to come help us.